The Queensland strawberry industry is examining a range of innovative approaches to producing strawberries. As an icon of South East Queensland, the strawberry industry plays an important role in delivering economic benefits to the region and to Queensland. Industry Development Officer for the Queensland Strawberry Growers Association, Jennifer Rowling explains. The Queensland strawberry industry has approximately um, 150 growers, um, predominantly growing in the regions of uh, Moreton Bay, Sunshine Coast and Bundaberg. Uh, the farms range in size from small market producers who may have about 10,000 plants through to very large businesses with three to four million plants. And the industry is worth at about $130 million um, and produces about 25 thousand tonnes of fruit, which equates to about roughly half of the um, national crop. The industry is involved in the Queensland Government's Healthy Waterways Program and in collaboration with the Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Forestry is investigating a range of innovative practices such as tractor guidance systems, crop sensing and different fertiliser programs. Over the next three years, the industry is confident that new approaches and tools to better manage crop health and plant nutrition will emerge. Nathan Roy of Coolhaven Farms grows 800,000 plants on 15 hectares adjacent to Coochin Creek on the Pummerstone Passage. Nathan has recently installed satellite guidance to his farm machinery so he can improve accuracy in both planting and crop maintenance. Modern guidance systems have a repeatable accuracy of two centimetres. This means that the space for planting the crop is maximised Controlling farm traffic using satellite guidance reduces soil compaction and fuel, reduces the number of tillage operations required to plant a crop, and avoids any overlap of chemical applications. We're a big family farm. Um, we have up to 100 people in our peak season. We're trialling control traffic because uh, we use it for uh, water management, um, which all helps us to remove the water off the field so we reduce our rain damage on our strawberries. That also helps us with the amount of chemical that we have to apply to control any fungus diseases. Uh, we're going to permanent row spacings which should also help us reduce the amount of tillage that we have to do. Satellite guidance also allows other precision management tools such as crop or biomass sensing to be used. Crop sensing technology has been used for nitrogen management in broadacre farming for a number of years. However, this is the first time the technology has been used in strawberries in Queensland. The use of a tractor mounted green seeker sensor allows the producer to see in real time and in all weather conditions the status of the crop. This rapid delivery of information is important for horticultural producers who need to make crop management decisions on a daily basis. Tim Neal of Precision Agriculture is assisting the project to trial the technology. Um, we've got the uh, Trimble Green Seeker installed on this machine. What it does is it uh, outputs uh, red and near infrared light and it calculates what's called an NDVI, which is a, a vegetation index. It does that on the go basically in the machine and provides a real time output of NDVI. And what we're trying to do here is check whether the strawberries um, actually we're seeing some differences in NDVI in the strawberries. We're trying to work out what that's telling us, whether it's you know crop health, the vigour of the plant, whether it's disease or whatever. It's very sensitive because it's got near infrared light in it. It's very sensitive to any changes in plant health. So hopefully we're seeing, we're hoping to see some really good differences in the field. Um, what we've done is just mounted it up directly over one of the beds. So as the tractor drives through, it'll be seeing a, a swath of about. Uh, about two foot of, of bed and it'll actually be picking up the health of the strawberries as we're driving over it. And then that's logged in, inside the machine uh, on the screen and uh, you can see a real time output of the actual values coming in on the screen which are like I said are also logged which then we can go back and post process. And if we do this multiple times what we're hoping to see is that as the plant grows we'll be able to actually do a change detection map so we'll be able to look at which areas have grown forward the most which areas haven't grown forward as, as much and that might indicate to, to the growers whether there's an issue with some areas in the field whether it's waterlogging or it's diseases or nutrition or whatever it might be it's going to pick up those differences. What we're trying to achieve from this is 
making sure that we have an accurate amount of data that we can use to see whether we've got any nitrate leaching out of the uh, plant area where the plants can't get to it. The industry is also undertaking trials that are looking at targeted approaches to nitrogen management through the use of controlled release fertilisers. Controlled or slow release fertilisers deliver plant available nitrogen more slowly and evenly throughout the growing season. This has the potential to improve yields and reduce nitrogen leaching. Extension horticulturist Zane Nichols of the Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Forestry explains the trial work underway. The trial we're doing is focusing on controlled release fertilisers versus the standard fertigation system used. The main objective is to measure the nitrous oxide emissions uh, where we want to capture the flux rates which occur in a wet, wet soil or a dry soil. There's a range of techniques we're using to monitor this trial, um, starting with soil moisture, uh, also measuring soil nitrogen and leaf sap analysis to measure the uptake of the nutrients in the, through the plant. So we're interested to see how these factors affect yield and fruit quality. What we're hoping to find is a reduction in fertiliser used to grow the crop and also we hope to see a reduction in fertigation costs. Uh, we're trialling the slow release fertiliser so we can have a, an accurate amount of nutrients released to the plant through its uh, peak season um, and try to reduce how much um, leaching occurs. It is expected that the learnings from these trials will benefit all growers. The collaboration between the Queensland Strawberry Growers Association and the Queensland Government is enabling the development of next generation production techniques that will improve fruit quality, yield and the overall sustainability of the industry. The industry can see significant value in participating in these trials because what we're learning here um, can potentially benefit the entire industry. The funding allows us to explore and validate new practices and it'll help the industry to deliver the high quality product that Queensland growers are renowned for. I'm doing these trials to uh, stop any variabilities amongst the plants um, and that will also help us maximise the yield output of the plants and then in return we should make a better profit at the end of the day.